Hi, I'm Robert Chesney with Realty Times News TV, here to bring you today's negotiating tip from negotiating expert John Hamilton. This is tip number five, the silent partner. Adding a partner to your negotiations can change the dynamics in your favor. This technique involves, as you'd expect, taking someone else with you when a negotiating opportunity is likely to take place. Now, this technique can be planned in advance, even choreographed, or it can be implemented on the spur of the moment. Too often, however, team negotiating is counterproductive because both may want to speak and their words may show a lack of unity. Consider the role, though, of the silent partner. It's a fun role. They don't have to come up with impacting responses. They don't have to share creative initiatives. They just have to be good at standing there, looking somber and sending body language messages. A quiet grimace or folded arms from the silent partner can clearly communicate that they're not buying into your opponent's current position. Don't overdo it, but measured messages work almost every time. The speaking partner can be positioned as though they're going along with things, and the silent partner is contradicting that position. Now, in such situation, your opponent is overloaded. They're busy talking to one, but they're always observing both. Finally, you might want to call a short timeout to confer privately with your silent partner. That always forces one's opponent to kind of reevaluate their position as they're left alone while the partners are talking. Any time that you can get your opponent to rethink their position in the middle of a negotiation, it's a good thing. If they want the deal, a concession or a softening of their position is likely to be forthcoming. Thank you for watching. We've got a whole series of negotiating tips to share with you. So be sure to join us on the next one. Until then, keep negotiating.